Here we have the PID controller. If we open it, we'll see a proportional part, an integral part, and a derivative part. If we integrate this controller to regulate a process, notice that the error is always being fed into the controller. If we plot this error and assume that it tends towards zero, let's suppose we're at this point, where we have an error at time zero. At this moment, the proportional action is at work, which operates based on the error. Present, expressed in the Laplace transform, it would be this equation. Since time t0, a lot of error has accumulated, and this is known as all the past time. And this is where the integral action comes into play. It would be 1 over the integral time times s. If we apply Taylor's series at this point, calculating the tangent to the curve, we can predict the future error, which is given by the derivative action. It would be a derivative time multiplied by s.